So we're using Modern Warfare 3 guns, but on Kino de Toten. Now, we actually spawn in with all the Pack-a-Punch versions this time, which should be kind of interesting. Uh, got like the Deagle, which is called the, the Maga. Okay, dude. So I'm probably going to have to censor quite a few of these names because in the, the giant version of this like mod, when we did get pack a punch versions, it was kind of very uh, sussy to say the least. For some reason, this one only lets you choose pack a punch or you have normal plus the pack a punch. So I decided to go for PAP because otherwise it would take 106 guns. And that's a little bit absurd. Now, of course, there's no meleeing. We've got perks still as usual. Points progress our guns. So we just want to go for headshots, I guess. As well as rebuilding barriers, of course, this will count towards changing on to the next one. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to censor some of these names out. So if you see a black box on the bottom right, that's why. Right, we're on the next gun now. No, almost. One more kill. At least we have unlimited ammo, which is nice. So we can actually just, like, get a proper feel for the guns. Okay, here we go. Yeah, like, I can't show that name, bro. I can't. But this looks like the USP, which is cool. Bully Auto as well, which is nice. Literally, if it wasn't for these names, like, the mod would be a masterpiece. But why do they have to make them so... Just, ugh. you know, I'd probably get banned if I show these names. Let's just say they're that bad. It's fine, though. We're here for the guns anyway. The guns are cool. Oh, we got these, yeah, point drops and stuff. So we can get random drops still. We've got a death machine. It's sadly the Black Ops 3 death machine, so we're not going to use it. Shame we didn't get the uh, the Modern Warfare 3 death machine. I think there was one in Modern Warfare 3 anyway. Now, honestly, talking about the game, because we, whenever we play these mods, I like to talk about... The Dirty Dan. Okay, what is this, like a Magnum? Looks kind of cool. But Modern Warfare 3, I didn't play it too, too much. I played it after, like, Black Ops 2 had released, but it was genuinely quite fun. I'm a big fan of the PP Bison, or what was it called? The PP90M1 or something in uh, Modern Warfare 3. That's, like, my favorite gun in that game. They were all very cool. And, obviously, Modern Warfare 3, the iconic infected mode was in that game. Oh, here we go. Special zombies. These ones, like, teleport, I think. So it's going to be nice seeing some guns that I'm not, like, too familiar with. Uh, we're about to go on to the next one as well. Boom, here we go. Yeah, we're back on this gun. Why? I don't know. But the USP again, dude. With the same sussy name, but I can't show. Let's start opening up some doors, though, anyway. All right, here we go. I mean, we just got one more door. And then we get power open. Oh, two of these teleporty zombies. Go away. Rebuilding barriers is actually, like useful in this mode which is nice also guns that aren't very good are pretty useful as well because you'll still be able to like progress you just need points you don't need like kills necessarily all right we need one more kill there we go the rumple foreskin this is the uh a singular five seven i think oh my god the seven round burst that's a, an interesting number i guess oh milk and cookies this is a kind of... Oh, this must be the Magnum, then. I don't know what gun I was using before. That was kind of cool. Like, the little revolver. The dual wield Magnums. Okay, this is kind of sick. Pew, 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 pew. Right, you the last zombie? No. Where the fuck is he, dude? There's always one. Yeah, here he is. Range? Oh, my God. <laughs> The hip fire was not the best on that. But anyway, we can go and turn on power now. We're almost able to get Jug. Oh, and we've got the Wonder Fizz here, which is nice. I don't know if there's a perk limit or not, but... Hey, promoted. What the hell is this? Harry and his inability to cope. I don't know who Harry is, but okay, keep coping, bud. These look cool. Are these like SMGs, dual wielders? This is kind of sick. I recognize a lot of these guns, but the annoying thing is, because it's the PAP versions, I don't actually get to see what the name... Oh, we've put a blast furnace on us. That's nice. I don't get to see the name of the guns themselves, but I'm sure you guys in the comments will be able to tell me because I'm sure a lot of you have seen and played Modern Warfare 3 more than me anyway. The Gaz and Brown Town. I don't know what these mean. Like, some of them I should probably not say because God knows there could be some euphemism for something. All right, there we go. The Mommy, the Mommy. Okay, dude. The Mommy. The Mommy gun. Holy shit, the reserve ammo, though. 222 and then 666. Holy shit. It's quite a lot. Um, Let's go and link this pad. There is absolutely no point for us to do this. Oh, we got dogs. Nice. Let's go and open towards double tap, I suppose. Where's the dogs at? Hey, what's up, bro? I don't know what this drop is. is this? Oh, it's points. 30 points. Okay. I suppose I'll take it. I might end up trying... If, if it's going to be always pack-a-punch now compared to the previous two mods, then I might do non-gun game versions. The gun game is just very useful for getting through all the guns. Like, you could cycle through basically every single one. It's just they're going to be pack-a-punched versions, so... I need 40 points. Can we get it off this barrier? I think we can, actually. Boom. Hey, the gurgles. What is this? Some kind of burst pistol? Now, if we could not get Nova Crawlers, never mind. Just as I say that, dude. I hate the Nova Crawlers so much. Oh, we've got a free put... Double tap? Okay, then. <laughs> 
Sure, dude. Thank you. I mean, might as well hit the fucking perk of cola then if we're going to get random perks. Uh, dead shot. Oh, sick, dude. I don't regret my decision or anything. Totally not useless on keyboard and mouse or anything. The Mario Party 9. Is that even a game? I don't think it is, but it's kind of a laser beam though, which is nice. No recoil at all. Now I have a zombie counter on the bottom. I've got to pay attention to that. We've got 10 zombies left. Stupid crawlers. Ow, man. Juicy Glocks. Okay, don't say that too fast. Oh, there is no perk limit. Let's go. Okay, we're going to give me Widow's Wine. As long as you don't jump scare me permanently, I'm fine with that. I'm a big fan of dual wield weapons, you know. They're just so cool looking. While recording this, I just ordered the KFC, you know. I'm, I'm getting into KFC, unironically, because most of my family is like vegetarian or pescatarian, which means they don't eat meat at all. So I never really like ordered any meat stuff like KFC while growing up. I can't. Fucking hell. Can I go up these stairs? There we go. But yeah, I tried it like a month ago, and honestly, it's the best chicken that I've had from anywhere. Like, unironically. I just get the boneless banquet every single time. It's a bit of a shame they force you into- Fucking hell. Getting the sides, because I don't really want the sides. I just want the chicken, like, strips, and then the popcorn chicken as well. That's kind of, like, all I want. But it's whatever, I guess. Oh, we've got the dual wield models. Let's go. These are sick. Look at, like, when you run around like that. Ooh. I don't know what the name means, but I'm probably going to blur that out just in case. Nightmare King. Oh, these edgy names, dude. <laughs> oh, this is a shotgun. This, this is a Spaz 12. I can't tell. It looks a bit like it. Holy shit. 40 guns left. Oh my god. Well, we can get some more perks. What do we get? What is this perk? What the fuck? Huh? It gave me nothing. <laughs> Well, that's a fucking scam then, huh? Stamina up. Okay, I can actually, I can use this one. I don't know what that red perk was that it gave me, but okay, dude. Sure. I guess we'll buy speed cola manually next, just to make sure we don't get a fucking invisible nothing perk. I don't normally spin for gobblegums, but we got a stock option, you know, which is actually quite nice. Because it means we have unlimited ammo anyway, we just never have to reload. We could just spam the fuck out of this. All right, next gun. The vib <laughs> the vibrator, dude. Okay. This shotgun, it looks like the Rack 9 from Infinite Warfare, but I don't know what the original name of this would be. Oh, it's fully auto. What the fuck? I was expecting it to be a pump shotgun. Ow, with the fucking explosions, dude. It's just absolute chaos. I could just spray around like this. Not have to have a care in the world, dude. There we go. Next gun. Toast's wank stick. What in the fuck are these names, dude? Who even is Toast? I guess it's some kind of like inside joke with the mod creator or something. If they want their mod to be recognized, I have to say they should probably reconsider a lot of these names and just change them to something that wouldn't demonetize most people because it would get far more popularity. I mean, there's a weapon pack mod for literally every single Call of Duty game in existence. This is the third one we're doing now. You know, we've done Ghosts and we've also done Infinite Warfare. Next, we'll probably do like, <laughs> we might actually do Vanguard. Honestly, I'm quite curious because I never really used the Vanguard guns all that much. Screw it, dude. Let's go for a Wonder Fizz. Nope, we can't. Uh, there's a six perk limit. Apparently so, dude. We can't get Speed Cola. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, the Saint. I cannot say that either. Like, bro, dude. Oh, this is the Striker. That's for sure. I recognize this gun. This is like my favorite shotgun probably from the Modern Warfare series. And the models were obviously very cool as well. But when they got nerfed, they weren't exactly that strong anymore. Especially in MW2. I mean, I never played MW2. But the, the Slut Punisher. Nice. Okay. I can actually say these names at least. This looks like the KSG. Seven zombies left and they're taking 50 billion years to spawn. Oh wait, they're just Nova Crawlers. Because fuck, make it more difficult for me, dude. All right, what's the next gun gonna be? The Second Amendment. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's no explosive damage. Okay. We could just spam the fuck out of that. Nice. Maybe I do have Speed Cola because these are reloading very fast. But like if I go up to Speed Cola and I try and buy it. Oh no, I can. I guess the Wonder Fizz just doesn't work anymore, huh? Soda Popper, A, hey, getting XP? Phew! Oh yeah, the reload is so fast now, what the fuck? But yeah, we just can't use the Wonder Fizz anymore, I guess. No point in getting a mule kick anyway. Look at this, dude. Ooh. Just spam the hell out of this. Phew, there we go, max ammo. Oh, we need literally 10 points, let's just do this. Boom, there we go. Small wee wee. Oh, so this is the, uh, the small then. Or the moors, I don't know, one of the two. Whoa, that has a nice explosion animation. Wait, you can only see it like on the ground. Weird, not on the stage. Okay, anyway. Boom. Maybe I got PhD, maybe that was what the uh, invisible perk was, who knows. At least the points to get on each like weapon isn't too high, so we're not going to be here forever. But it's still going to take a while. We've got fucking like 30 more guns to go. The receptionist, okay. And I like how they make the uh, rocket launchers intentionally take less points. 
because obviously it would take forever because you can only get like 50 points for each kill anyway. Boom, here we go. The Potato 9K. Oh, is this the P90? I love the P90. Just look at the reload. It's got one of the most iconic reloads in all of like COD multiplayers. Homie's micro penis. Okay, dude. The MP7. MP7 is pretty great there. I'm not going to lie. I think I preferred the Black Ops 2 MP7, but the Modern Warfare 3 one was definitely very good. Just the good old reliable gun, you know? The downrange dumper. What are these names, bro? Looks like an Uzi though, which is quite cool. Oh my god, look how fucking much ammo it has. 120 in a magazine. Oh my god, the recoil on this is ridiculous. What the fuck? Like, sometimes when you move and shoot... What? <laughs> my gun's going to, like, Jupiter, dude. What the fuck? Is it because it fires so fast? Maybe. Just look at it. Oh, there we go. Oh, the Super Soaker. Hey, this is the good I love. Yeah, the PP90 or PP90M1 or whatever. Just the reload is so sick. Oh, it's already done. That's sad. Connection interrupted. What? Oh, come on, dude. Okay, so the Modern Warfare 3 one is, uh, I guess, slightly buggy. Maybe it's because we have all these textures on the floor or something. I don't know, but... Okay, it crashed, so um, of course it has to crash right as I get my favorite gun as well. That's just typical. So since I was kind of scuffed and I still want to make sure we get through all the weapons on this weapon pack, or at least get through most of them, I've decided that we're going to restart. We're not doing gun game this time. We're doing just standard Modern Warfare 3. Oh my god, and we're spawning in on round 10. We have some more points so we can actually open up stuff. All the doors are already open because I thought it would be the best play. Save us having to do all that again. Just get back in the action. The Scar L. Okay, see, this is already something new. We've got the scar on the wall. I honestly really liked the scar in Modern Warfare. It was like, it was pretty sick. Oh my god, just like Fortnite. <gasps> and then we've got the G36C. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if we used this or not before, but I just figured if we start on this round, then we're able to, you know, get the uh, mystery box spins a little bit more efficiently, I suppose. Oh god. We'll initiate the link to the pad, but again, we're not going to pack a punch. We just want to get through as many guns as we can. Because if we pack a punch every single one, you know, that's 5,000 points. Now, where is the box? It says it's up there. Ah, oh, I think that's that way. All the doors are open, at least, so it makes it easy to, to go over there. We'll double tap right here. Yeah, box is in this building. Okay, up we go. The only downside is it opened up the door to the stage, but whatever, dude, it's fine. Oh, the green mystery box. That's different. Um, Carpenter. Oh, God. We've got the P90 back again. Let's go. I do really like the P90. Might fuck around and keep this, honestly. Uh, we got the... Is that the Scar again? Oh, no, this is the... Oh, the ACR. Okay. Now, this gun is iconic from Modern Warfare 3. I think this was the go-to, like, best gun in the game, wasn't it? Oh, my God. There's so many zombies back here. Holy shit. I didn't put a zombie counter on, but uh, whatever. Let's go and spin the Wonder Fizz a little bit. What we get? Oh, this perk again. What even is this? Is this, like, double tap or something? I don't know, but it's, it didn't give me anything, so whatever, dude. <laughs> Maybe it just doesn't have a perk icon, but very strange. Anyway, Deadshot. Oh, my favorite. I love Deadshot. I want another free perk. Let's go. And it gave me nothing again. I can't fucking drink it. There we go. Widows. I think it's explosive rounds, because it looks like my shots are, like, kind of exploding. What's this? Stamina up? Oh, hell yeah. I do a little bit of stamina up. We want to get speed curler, of course. Oh, yeah, when we slide, it, like, explodes a bunch. What the fuck was that? I, yeah, I guess it's just a visual glitch with the uh, the perk icons. It just doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, here we go. Like, look, what the fuck? So many explosions. Yeah, we can't buy the Wonder Fizz anymore. So we just get 3,000 points for Speed Cola. ACR's packing a punch, though, which is nice. P90. Yeah, it's weird that there's no, like, normal version for this weapon pack. I assume the Modern Warfare 3 one must have been, like, one of the first few then that this map creator or mod creator made. Because obviously when we played the Giant and we played Moon, both those weapon packs, they had like just standard guns. Oh, here we go with the fucking Nova Crawlers again. Yeah, we're not gonna play for too, too long, but I just wanna showcase a few more guns. Here we go, we can afford Speed Cola now. Oh yeah, Speed Cola plus P90, just, oh, clean as hell. Ow, with the fucking Widow's Wine jump scares. Ow, my God, the full, what? <laughs> How did I just get, like, two shot? I don't understand that at all. Oh, and I got a connection interrupted again. Okay, never mind, dude. Apparently, the Modern Warfare 3 one and Kino de Toten just doesn't like existing. But anyway, we got to see the ACR. We got to see the Scar. You know, those two guns are quite iconic in Modern Warfare anyway. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the playlist with the rest of these maps playing these weapon packs on BO3. Check out the video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. And I'll see you in the next video.